a bruschetta. Yo, what is up, ADT and Austin Dunham back again with another video. Welcome to another full week of workouts. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my static training and cardio workout. So if you haven't watched the first one, definitely be sure to watch it. That was the full upper body day. And now a part of my split, like I said, I do train statics and do a little bit of cardio. So I'm gonna show you everything I do, uncut, all the sets, everything, so that you can see exactly how I train. Now before we get into it, shout out to my protein sponsor, My Protein. As you see right here, I'm sipping on the Clearway Isolate. This is the Mike and Ike um, strawberry flavor. And I'm almost out of this one too. I say the Clearway is like my favorite item that My Protein has. One, because it's so easy to drink, goes down easily. Um, I usually drink it little before I work out because the way my protein strategy is kind of set up is that I eat in the morning, have a protein shake before I work out, and then I'll eat another meal after that and then one more meal before bed. So I always make sure to get at least two scoops a day. Like I said, I love it. So you can use Austin NYP for 45% off all my protein products, including their protein snacks, their vegan whey protein, and even the workout apparel. So link will be down below in the description. So this workout will be a full upper body static training workout combining pushing and pulling. Sometimes I do divide my pushing skills versus my pulling skills, but in this workout, I'm gonna combine everything and show you exactly how I do it, including the supersets, um, the dynamic variations I do, and everything alongside with that. Now, static training, is really gonna be dependent on your personal goals and what you wanna learn, if you're beginner, intermediate, advanced, or if you're in more in a maintenance stage like me. Keep in mind guys, I've been training since 2016, these static skills, so I've learned a lot of skills, but I'm still working on some stuff, and you will see that in this workout routine. So I got it written down right here. A part of my goals today is handstand endurance and skill maintenance, like I said. And regarding the progressions I'm using, it will be mostly intermediate and advanced progressions, and the movement will be mostly dynamic movements. So not a lot of just normal static um, type of progressions. I'm gonna be very dynamic in this. But enough talking, subscribe, like the video. Let's go ahead and hit the gym. So after the warm up, I'm gonna do wall handstand holds for three sets. Now in my last video, you saw me do it for a max hold time. But I'm not gonna do that here because I'm gonna do other handstands so I don't wanna fatigue my shoulders too much. So I'm gonna aim for like 30-ish seconds for three sets.
Bam. All right, let's see what we got next. So after that, up next, I'm doing what's called a mega set. Now a mega set is a dynamic set that combines a whole bunch of status skills into one set. Now once you actually unlock these skills, this becomes more accessible and easily to do. I'm gonna do it with my push skills, as you'll see here. So we're gonna do four sets of it. So guys, you saw that mega set is definitely crazy. All push muscles. Now the reason why I didn't do a full variation of a planche is because the tuck planche or skill training in general, you usually wanna train the intermediate or the easier skill in practice. And then when you're performing or when you're testing, that's when you do the advanced stuff. So that's why I'm sticking with tuck planches today. I'm gonna rest about two minutes in between those sets. I'm gonna do three more. One more set left. Static training is all about repetition and repetition and practice and frequency and repetition and consistency. You want to get over and over again so that your neurological adaptations form to the movement and you get stronger. You may or may not build some muscle in the process, but like I said, I've been doing this for years, so whew, that's one of my favorite mega sets. But now I think I'm gonna work on some pulling muscles, rest a little bit, and I'll show you what we're doing next.
that's another example of a dynamic set mixing both movements and obviously with the rings it's easiest to do a front lever back lever and as you saw i did a drop set back to the tuck front lever just to get a little bit more time under tension and so with static training you have volume and you have time under tension having more time under tension with under a certain exercise will give you more volume so as you see like this workout is definitely high volume but for this movement i'm gonna only do three sets because throughout the week i already get a lot of front lever work my front lever pulls and all that stuff i'm doing dragon flags whatever um so i don't need that much volume in regards to maintenance of these skills so i'm gonna rest about two more minutes and then i'm gonna do two more sets my pushing muscles a little bit of a break got the pulling out the way now we're moving on to more the ladder part of the workout I'm not sure what we're doing next I check my phone all right so our last exercise before cardio is the time under tension handstand now if you don't know one of my goals is to hold a one minute long handstand so what I do to practice it is just a normal handstand but I make sure that I'm in the handstand for at least minimum one minute now, since I was in the handstand for a lot of time today, I'm not gonna do like three minutes, four minutes, whatever, but I'm just aiming for one minute at the end of this workout. And however many sets it takes me to get to one minute total. So if I fall out 10 seconds, then I got 50 seconds left. But if I make it 40 seconds in one handstand, then I only got 20 seconds left. So last thing we gotta do before our cardio. one minute five seconds within two sets that's not bad so it's average between 30 seconds each set my wrists are fried right now because I used a lot of parallel training today so now our static training maintenance and volume is done I usually do that like twice a week now I'm gonna do around 10 minutes of jump rope just to add in some cardio even though my heart rate has been up a lot of this workout <music> today's workout my static and cardio day don't forget to check out my protein and guys if you need a systemized static training program that will teach you how you can progress from beginner to doing routines just like this check out my calisthenics program it's been out for a while now and a lot of people have seen good results in their planche levers LSIT, and everything else beyond that so link will be down below for that subscribe like the video and see you guys in the next one peace